and I say one more episode for a very specific re reason. Do you? Oh, got it. Are you just gonna solo with him? No. Why not? <laughs> because I actually want to use one of the cavaliers here. Wasn't called green. Who's green? What a pleasant surprise! It's Master Volter. What's the situation, Terrado? You have captured Ephraim, haven't you? Nope. Prince of Frame still fights on the lands north of Renval. And why is that? What has happened? All those marks make me hide. They've proven to be less than adequate. The frame's clever. His band strikes quickly and then vanishes into the woods. We more than double his numbers, and yet he uses the terrain wisely to fight us. He has no army, just a small force of knights loyal to Renee's. Prince of Frame's reputation as a superb strategist would seem to be well earned. As you command. Just grant me an army and I'll bring him down swiftly. Sort of plan do you have? Master, I'm your loyal adjutant, and you are my general. For you, my lord, I have many plans ready and waiting. Really? Well then, let me hear them. Very well. First, you and I will leave this fort and head north. Then we will find Prince of Frame in his leafy playpen. He's not easily found, is he? Do not worry. At Prince of Frame's side is a friend, shall we say. When the time is right, our friend will move on our behalf. And also, here's the Cavalier Bros. I'll be blonde ponytail, man. <laughs> it's. Yeah! It's not looking good. Our weapons are in bad shape and we're running low on food. We can probably restock at the nearby village, but. Yeah, I knew you'd say that. I mean, it's because of stuff like that that we've stuck with you so far. <coughs> but eventually, we do need to face reality. What are we going to do? Word of mouth, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to take his voice, though. We're going to bet that the invasion of Renee's has progressed quite far. You know, whenever I give a character to you, they suddenly change the moment your mouth opens. <laughs> <laughs> because I love giving them stupid voices. I mean, he looks so firm and, you know, calculated and like he would kill without even thinking. Uh, but not without reason. But now he's said, good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god. I heard that the capital is falling. <laughs> Still, my father is in the capital, and you don't surrender easily. Fort, Kyle. Our mission <laughs> here is to harry the troops to distract their eye. Hopefully we'll be able to give my father and Eric a time to escape. He's dead! Kyle, have you heard anything from Boston? <laughs> I sent him ahead to scout. No word yet, and he's and it's about time he returned. Seems as though we've certainly caught up caught in Grado's eye this time. 
Should we retreat back to the capital, Prince Ephraim? You know, be less awkward. We're going to capture Red Ball. What? Brother, that's crazy. So this is Red Ball, is it? Alright, let's go. Uh, are you sure you're quite sane, Prince Ephraim? You know, just to make you just a little bit crazy. We, the entire, the entire army after us, and you want us to ch charge their stronghold? Ford, watch your tongue. Uh -huh. This is our prince you're addressing. Hi, please. It's all right. <laughs> We've heard nothing from home. So what harm could a little reckless deceiving cause? Prince of Fred. Don't worry, he has lost hate. all sense of self-preservation. Mm -hmm. Red Ball holds an important place in Grado's national defense. If can get the upper hand and take control of it, then Grado will waste many valuable soldiers trying to take it back. I hope our attack proves useful to my father and Erica. I understand what you're saying, but... Can we do it with our current strength? Every soldier in this area is trying to find us. The enemy has a vast outnumber. Attacking the castle is a ridiculous idea. If the enemy thinks the same, we may have an hour over. You have a point. I'm sure Rindavall won't expect us to attack with these numbers. It's like when we're all on one side of the map and they just walk away and make their end. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Either way, we can't run forever. And we're running out of supplies. Well, we got to lose. Shall we get ready to go? Yes. If we don't move quickly, then we never get another chance. Trust me, I don't pick fights I cannot win. Yes, sir! You, with your voice for it, it's more magic. <laughs> An attack by Ephraim's troops? His <laughs> arms! Prince Ephraim circled around and brought the fight to us. We capture the prince here, we can line our pockets with gold. Do you understand? We'll be rich. Or some. Yes. The wounds still have to kill from that last battle, have they? Don't push yourself. If we are defeated, we must return to Whoever Understood? Understood. Let's go, Kyle Ford. Oh, I thought the determination came with me. Uh, uh, none of the higher ends. Either way, I find you score as a higher con. So what I'm gonna do is uh There's a very good reason for this. I'm not gonna spoil it, but I'm sure I've already guessed what as to what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I'll say it. This guy I mean, I did watch the randomizer. <laughs> I mean, it was a completely uh, different character, yeah, but guy... I guy... He's a... he's a dick. Yeah, and uh, essentially... Any stuff he has, uh, you'll lose if he dies. So, a little bit of violence. His con is pink, which leaves him with quite the speed penalty. We'll be chugging elixirs a little bit in this chapter. Yeah, you have no proper healer. Yeah. You gotta be a little careful though. I don't want uh, to. Uh, what do you call 
I don't want uh, my cheese white and uh, I don't want things to go to convoy as I'm not sure I have one for e There's uh, only two things in those chests, and they're just um, an elixir and a killer lance. E-frame is so good. You know, one thing... You know, I really like Farming Warriors and all that, but one thing is that I don't understand. They they were like, Haha, we want a, div a diverse cast. We don't want all speed. Yes, but go on. Sorry, Tati, did you cut out? Or... Hello? Did my Discord screw up? No. Yeah, impossible. Here is my bomb that I can get anywhere. Oh, maybe she got a phone call, actually. I can't wait for her to tell the story. But yeah, I just didn't. <laughs> Much appreci- Yeah, I don't know. This is kind of- I already played Hyrule Warriors, so I already played that game as well. I'm not the biggest Zelda fan, so I passed on it. I mean, I play the occasional game, but in the wild I'm really enjoying I love the Wind Waker. Um, Aquilina never really got me. Same. My brother-in-law really uh, likes it, though. Definitely with, like, Ocarina and stuff, you kind of had to play it when they came out. Yeah. Because I don't have the, uh... Whatever bias. <laughs> nostalgia? I care. Yeah, the nostalgia bias. So it's just like, I don't know, yeah, not the, the prettiest first, of games. It was kind of the first major 3D adventure game at the time, so... Sure, you have to restart. You back! Well then. Did you get a call or something? My phone died. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Rip. So you were saying something about Fire Emblem Warriors? Yeah, I was like, I was super annoyed that they were like, let's have a diverse cast or whatever, but yeah, like half the lot. cast is like fucking swords. And they could have just put fucking Ephraim in there because he's he's a Lance Lord. There you go, there's a diverse lord right there. And I was just so mad. I mean, you know, Eric could use the swords and whatnot, but at least put Ephraim in there, like shit, the fucking Celica's in there by herself, there's no all um, might as well just throw Ephraim in there while you're at it. No, uh, I Did they choose three games to take from and that was like Shadow Dragon, Awakening, and Fates? Yeah. Two of those are the same freaking universe. Face and Awakening are the same universe? No, uh, Shadow Dragon and Awakening. Oh yeah, it's true. Oh yeah. yeah. I understand the decision to pick Face. I get that, trust me. But they should yeah, have picked cause... the Blazing Blade and Binding Blade universe as well. Like, if they had I picked think... those three, I would have said, okay, fair enough. I don't think they needed to pick Face. I'm pretty sure Awakening is more popular than Face. Yeah, but I think... The reason I say I understand it is because, you know... It, it was more recent. It, yeah, it's more recent, and also it's a larger game if you're considering it one package. So fair enough. That's kind of. I my feel thinking. like 
instead of like focusing on three games, I feel like they should have just, you know, did picked certain characters. Like, there's Lynn and Celica. There, you could have. They could have done, really done it. They really the ultimate fan fiction. Basically. That's what I don't. I, just, I mean, I don't even hate the game. It's just that I just wish that certain characters were in it. But at least they did a good job with most of the DLC characters. Like, all the archers are literally exactly the same. But, like, you know, like, Lindy and Minerva. Man, I fucking love Minerva. They're actually, yeah, like... really cool. They're super unique, and I'm just like, oh, it's so beautiful. And Azura! Oh god, I fucking love Azura! She's amazing! <laughs> so wonderful. Amoro, too. At least they made the DLC characters different and not, like, clones. Well, Niles was a clone, but, you know, he was there because I'm pretty sure everyone likes Niles, but I don't. You know, they could have oh, put someone Niles. else. You know, like... I mean, Axe user, you know, like, Booze McGee, Charlotte, you know, her, maybe. I would have been okay with that. <laughs> or even Gunter, I would have been okay Why with Gunter. Why do we Gunter. keep getting on the topic of Camilla and her? No, Booze McGee, I'm talking about Charlotte, not Camilla. Oh, right. She's <laughs> right, Booze McGee number two. Camilla's already in the game, ain't she? Yeah, yeah, she is. And it's funny, she's one of the best characters, like, if there was a tier list, like, her and Lin are, like, at the top. <laughs> and apparently Navar is a Lin clone, so that puts Navar at the top as well. That's good, Navar, he's quite sexy. Love me a man with some long hair and some edgy attitude. Wow, I love Minerva, Minerva's voice actor too. She's just. I don't even know who she is, but I'm like, damn. That's good. Yeah, girl. Just smack that ass. I'm your axe. Yeah, I always do that. Yep. Should I, uh. Oh, and ass. Damn it. Nah, drop the. Which one's which? Uh, left one is the elixir, right one is the killer lance. Because I want Cord to kind of be the supply guy. Which uh, cavalier dude are you gonna use? Kyle? Kyle. Kyle! I got the name. Did you just say Ford? Yeah, I was confused. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I got the more Kyle. But Ford, he's got the cool ponytail. Kyle has more Kyle. Whoa, he doesn't have a ponytail. I can't judge a man based on his ponytail. I chose Lance and Binding Blade because he looked cooler. Okay. I don't remember that guy. He's the, the, one of the Cavalier twin bros. Lance, was it? Mm -hmm. He's the green boy. Is like in game artwork. <laughs> oh, him. Yeah. Who's his uh, pair? Um, I forgot what the other guy's name was. Because I literally don't use him. <laughs> Actually, I can open the game right now. Alan? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Oh, they look so similar. I know. Can you send me the link so I can edit pictures in here? Turn it, I just closed. <laughs> you uh, anything? I can find out again quick.
Going by body type, I pick Saija. <laughs> uh, who would I go with? I mean, you already went as that. I did, but I'm not as skinny anymore. Oh, oh, yeah. buff now? Somewhat. Buff. I could do like Arthur. <laughs> uh, who else is there? I always enjoy Canis. I could go as Nino. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so fun! Uh, who else? I would pay money to see that. I would take your money to go as Nino. You <laughs> <laughs> gotta do it now. Actually, Ike would be really good. Like, based on body type, I could totally do it. Oh, yeah, you Younger Ike, so. Yeah, that'd be cool. I remember, right? Because older Ike is so swole. <laughs> so swole. Yeah, you're not that swole. The ideal man. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Wait. Ike is the ideal man. <laughs> He's ideal man. But yeah, I'd cosplay Nino. You know? That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have seen a uh, One Punch, right? I never yeah. watched it. I oh, know about it. Did you get? Yeah, I watched no, One Punch. No, I'm very lazy when it comes to recent anime. I haven't seen the manga though. Hmm. Taddy, what'd you say? I said I'm very lazy when it comes to like, like watching things. I was like, oh, this new anime came out. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then like a year later, did you watch the anime? I'm sorry, what was it again? The, uh, the manga and the webcomic are also really good, but, uh, if you're familiar with Pre Pre Prisoner, there, <laughs> uh, someone did fan art of him as Sailor Moon. Nice. <laughs> I'll, uh, find that, actually. Sounds about right. Because it's angel style, rush, whatever. Angel rush. It's funny because he's uh, he's uh he destroys crime and he's also on the supply side. On the what side? So he's on the supply and demand side of crime. That's the most beautiful man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite. Art of him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Although I, I, I really want to find the theme where you see his back muscles because they're super impressive. Back muscles. Chef is a little iffy because you don't have any axe users. Yeah. 
it's funny because E-Flame, in, in his base form, he's, he's just kind of like a, a soldier class. But he's nothing like a soldier class. Because his yeah. stats. Yeah, because uh, he, he doesn't, uh, what's the word, um... Suck. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. S-D-U-C-C. <laughs> oh man, that is funny. Ooh! Oh boy. Go on, go on. Need one of those Zerixers. Zerixers! Yep, that one. Further on your playthrough, Tati? Of, uh, Binding Blade? Yeah. Um, I, fin I finished the chapter before Sue. The the trap, I think, the next chapter is chapter 6. But apparently it looks oh, like my, uh, my emulator's being dumb. I have I can only load save states. I can't actually save the game and open the ROM and open, open the save. No, it sucks! Jeez. Thank God I saved like right at the end of the other chapter. I would have been so mad. <laughs> Alright, so you gotta oh. use save states to uh, do it. Yeah, I gotta actually use save states to play the game now. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's not that bad. you're not abusing the crap out of it. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I've already done Awakening and shit, so I think I'm gonna be used to that. Game just like, yeah. I abuse them for my playthrough of Binding Blood. <laughs> it just makes the game so much less frustrating. I don't, I don't blame you. The game kind of has like same turn reinforcements, so yeah, uh, that's, that's, how, that's how I justify them sometimes. <laughs> yeah, same turn reinforcements. I'll grant you. Um, it's the main reason I have trouble going back to Awakening. Yeah, that was infuriating. Yeah. Well, okay, two Pegasus Knights at every corner of the map, and they can cross half the map in one turn. Don't worry, is fair. <laughs> Hey, we're giving them armor slayers or some crap. Gale Force. <laughs> Gale Force. You see, this is exactly why I don't even remember half of this stuff from Awakening. You see, if I play it on Lunatic, I'm not gonna remember anything, so I'm gonna go in completely blind and it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> but it's I'm gonna be boring by myself, man. I know. Yeah. You think I you did can not... take us with those numbers? Imbeciles, yes. you're in the error of your ways. I keep frame, I don't pick fights, I don't win. I mean, he says that, but most of his troops are dead already. I know, right? <laughs> How many did he used to have? Uh, starts off with 31 enemies. So, uh, yeah. Now there's five of them. You started off with 31? Yes. According to? Uh, the wiki? Oh. What? Dang it, wiki! Not a frame! Oh, wait, not a frame? 
I'm talking about the enemy guy. Oh, E-Flame doesn't pick fights that he doesn't win. Yeah. I was talking for E-Flame, not the other smart. guy. I'm saying the guy is like, you can't beat an yeah. army. I'm like, dude, you have five How units you left. Is that like a vomit? <laughs> no. <laughs> you always vomit. like snub off your sneezes so weird. No, no, I, I, had, I got in the habit of doing that. And it's kind of funny because um, essentially I had an ear problem. Well, several of them, but one of them uh, essentially I wasn't told. I wasn't allowed to hold in my sneezes, so I had to let them out, otherwise it could mess with something in my ear. It sounds so unsatisfying when you do it. <laughs> Just you expect this spin. Ah, Scarrow! But no, I. Yeah, right? Say... <gasps> yeah. Holy Toronto. It can't be. It'll be. It'll be pawns? That sounds about right. Yes. Oh, finally I can pick units, I can bench Waltz, this useless man! <laughs> I know, it takes... They give you so many units to use that you and don't know what to do with all of them. so long, like, like, I literally I like, leave them at the beginning of the match, like, Oh, can you guys wait here while my four guys go this way? Yeah. Because you're not doing anything. Like, we are secured the entire castle. I really just yeah. don't feel like doing the voice, it's too much effort. You're a brilliant Prince of Frame, what a plan, what a battle. Half of the enemy troops are in the field. We took the castle, but we don't have the manpower to hold the enemy siege. There's no point in doing anything. Let's continue on to Rito Key. Prince Ephraim, things have taken a turn for the worse. I took a look around the castle for murder. We're surrounded. Perfect, we can attack in any direction. Awesome. What? Grado <laughs> sent reinforcements? So quickly? What should we do? Uh, we must escape. So you've captured Yuenval, have you? And with such a small force, impressive. You've earned your reputation, I must say. I took it here to lead it with this pack from this guy that you frame. I am. I am General Halter, the Moonstone of Raiders and Kyrion. Catching up to you has caused me to be a small amount of trouble. We've reduced your wretched opinions to you, yet, you and your old friend of Bravo's seem to be a thorn in our side. Let that all end here. We'll see. You claim you've taken the capital of the maze. Tell me, how do you know I would attack Renwald? <laughs> Patience, you'll have your answer soon enough. I'll be good, lads, and drop your weapons, will you? Prince of Frame, let us attack. Okay, we've got to cough. <laughs> yeah. Took me a sec. <laughs> You're a smart man. You know it's futile to fight me. You cannot win. You cannot escape. Accept the reality of your situation and surrender to me. S surrender? <laughs> That's right. You can do. I'll let you live. I'll hold your life in the palm of my hand. Do not test my dignity. Come over here. Bend your knee and beg for your life. Show me how we made dogs grow. I think not. What? You said your name was Walter, didn't you? I'm sorry, Walter, but I don't have time to waste my time. So we're going to knock you out about a bit and then make our way out of here. So, have you gone mad? I truly believe you can fight your way past my wyvern knights. Watch and see. I don't pick fights I can't win. Kyle, Ford, are you ready? 
My life has been yours since the moment I took my chivalric vows. It's moments like these that keep me by your side, my prince. Idiotic wretches you are. Prepare yourselves to be destroyed. Utter. Break to the east. Go! And that's why I love Ephraim. Such a See you guys next time.